first impression counts. There's a science or study that I read somewhere before that said people develop first impression of you in a tenth of a second. Like not even a second. Let me say it again. People form a first impression of you very, very quickly. You heard many times before that people don't judge, right? Just don't judge, right? But it doesn't happen that way. We, we want that people don't judge, but almost everyone is judging each other. It's part of our nature. It's happened subconsciously that you don't even know it. But we do judge other people. Especially nowadays, when people have so many options, they write other people off very quickly. It's sad, but that's the reality that we live right now. And once somebody only formed a first impression of you, it's really, really hard. And it takes a lot of time for them to change that first impression. And that's why it's called first impression, because it only happened one time and boom, that's it. Let me give you this example. If you go outside and if you see somebody driving in a Lamborghini, your first instant right away, man, this guy is rich. This guy have a lot of money. It's happened right away. And not only that, he probably have a lot of power and in a social status, you perceive him at a higher than somebody driving a Honda. It's happened subconsciously. Another example is if somebody perceives you as a confident person, that first impression will go in their head for a long period of time and this will work in your favor. So knowing this information that first impression counts, you need to consciously position yourself in the best way possible that for other people can perceive you in a positive way, right? For example, if somebody perceives you as a fearless, as a brave, as an outgoing, as a very charismatic, as a leader, that's what really help in your case. Because now in their mind, they will give you more credit right away. Instead of you have to do a lot of things to earn that. But if you know this information, you put yourself where that they can see you as a leader. Maybe you are a captain of a team. Let's just say that, right? Let's say if you go into a soccer, volleyball, you will instantly draw to who first? The captain of the team. And the captain of the team always get more credits because he is confident. He driving the team, he direct the team. He give a direction for a team. But first impression also works against you if you are not aware of it. Let's say if somebody perceive you as a shy, introverted, lack of confidence, and very indecisive, basically not in a good way. It will be very hard for you to change that first impression of you later and that will not help your case at all. Because maybe you are a really confident person, but in that situation you will just have a moment of shyness. And somebody see you that for the first time, they will form impression of you as a shy person right away. And that first impression will stick with them forever. Because nowadays people don't spend much time in person anymore. Because of the social media, somehow people just want to spend time online. On Instagram, on that TikTok and get that, that like, get that validation, get that attention through online. People nowadays really lazy. It's just a fact now. People would rather sit in at home and watching TV and eating that junk food then go out there and socialize with other people because it's a very comfortable. Just ask yourself, which one would you rather do? Sitting at home and watching the TV or go outside and meeting new people that you don't even know and you may have to encounter social awkwardness. So that's why people have a tendency to focus on doing something easy, something that's more comfortable for them. And that's why I emphasize so much now on first impression. Because you don't encounter, you don't have a lot of chances uh, of spending time with, with the new people, with the strangers, much as we used to have. And if you can use that first impression in your favor, you will have more chances of making new friends, making a new potential partner, making a new connection, new contact, and it's leading to a job, not into many opportunities that you don't even know. But it's all come from a first impression. So how do people judge others through first impression? People often judge through clothes and body language. I'm really big on this thing. Right? When you see strangers right away, you look at their clothes. 
It's happened very subconscious and very quickly. Remember, people develop first impression of you in a tenth of a second. That's why you make sure that you have the right clothes. Not all the time, but most of the time, you make sure you wear clothes that give you a confident boost. You wear clothes that make you feel comfortable, but also perceive as a high value person. The same thing with body language. If you walk with confidence, with your chest up and shoulder back, with your head straight, your eye look like you know what you're doing, people will perceive you as a leader. It gives you a confidence right away. And when people perceive you confident, it gives you even more confidence. When you have more confidence, the conversation flows very easily. Basically, you gain so many uh, advantage uh, on your side. Another way that people make the first impression of you is through social status. Uh, if you can position yourself as a captain, as a leader, in whatever group that you go to, uh, maybe you are captain of the soccer team, maybe you are captain of the boat. Basically, you are a captain of your group, right? captain of your football team, whatever that is, you are a captain of the group. If you can position yourself in those situations and when you go out or do social stuff, a new people, stranger, acquaintances, they will form a first impression of you in a very good way. It will really help you start conversation very easy. It's exactly come to a romantic. When girls go out, when they go to the bar, they will instantly perceive bartender as a high value person because they control on the liquor. They have uh, on the alcohol that's go one in. So they instantly give a bartender a lot of credit. And so they make it easy. They try to smile. They try to like keep the conversation going. Instead of if you're just a random stranger sitting in the corner, they right away form a first impression of you that you are low value guy. You don't have any friends and that you are not worthy to talk to. Worthy of their time. You know what I'm talking about? So, so that's why I say that, it's like first impression is count. I know it, it shouldn't be that way, but that's the way, that's the world we live in. Like it or don't like it, it's your choice. You must embrace this law, you must embrace this rule and really use it for your advantage. Let me sum up one more time, why do we need to know first impression matter? Because when you know first impression matter, it will give you more chances of succeeding. You now will position yourself in the best way possible. You will wear clothes that give you confidence. You will wear clothes that help you stand out a little bit than the rest of the crew. Help you stand out than other people. You will adjust your body language that show you as a confident person. Yes, you have fear and you feel uncomfortable. In the inside, it happened here and then. But the more you are conscious and the more you're aware of your body language, the more it really help your case. I don't say that by doing all the right thing, you will succeed. And what I'm trying to say is by doing all the right thing, by aware of all the clothes, body language, and social status, this will help you much and give you more chance of succeeding. Isn't that you want to have a very easy flow conversation with that girl, with that guy, making new friends, making new contact? You want that easy. And most people are superficial. Not everyone are open-minded like yourself. It's just a fact. Most people are very superficial. They really not willing to work on themselves. If you listen to one of my podcasts, you are one of the, I would say, a rare one. Like not many people really willing to listen to self-help podcasts and really improve themselves. The fact that you seek this information, that means you want more out of life. You want more than any of your friends. So whenever you can, position yourself in a high social status. Remember that people don't spend as much time in person as they used to. And once they only form a first impression of you, it will take a lot of time to change their perception about you. And take a lot of time by mean that you have to spend time with them for them to change a first impression of you. So uh, to sum up, when you understand this, make sure you prepare your best and show your best. Yeah, it will take a little bit extra work and effort. But the reward in this, I believe that it's very worth it. If you just lazy like every guys out there and just wear the same clothes and just wear like the clothes and it's just the same like everybody else. What what help you stand out, right? 
People don't have a time to get to know you right away. All they do is judging you through your clothes and your body languages. So make sure you are concerned of it. Wear clothes that help you stand out and give you more confidence. Because when you're confident, you are in a relaxed state. When you are in a relaxed state, a conversation will flow easier. Because we live in the world that almost everybody are busy. Almost everybody are lazy. They just want to fit in the crowd, especially guys. I know that guys just don't want to put any extra work on their clothes. So if you can do that, you already position yourself in a really good way. So, first impression counts. Make sure you are aware of it. Position yourself in the best way possible. And hey, I hope you get a value out of this episode. Please share with at least one friend that you know. Share on your social media because it will help other people find my channels. And because we love giving value. And until next time, you guys are awesome. Thank you.